Oh, I didn't see it. My name is Danny, cameraman CJ. Yeah, that's me. Shout out to Mr. Jeffway, making this whole cell project possible. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to be going out on a trip down the Aspen River. Yep, yeah, this is the Aspen right here. Both sides, front lines, bridge. Bridge, yep. Okay, let's go. Didn't see you there. Here we have some, what looks like little tiny, spiny, some sort of moss growing here on the tree. It almost looks like mushrooms. It's very fragile. Almost feels like paper. And there's a whole bunch of it. It's all on this tree here, on that tree over there. Oh, and while we're here, I just noticed something else, thanks to my partner. We have some, what looks like shelf mushrooms growing off the side of the tree here. Pretty big ones. Pretty big, kind of orangey. Pretty nice. Yep. Probably not good to eat though. Oh. The two fungi found in this video are called smoky bracket fungi. This fungi is usually found at the base of the tree. The effect of the fungi is decomposition from the core of the tree. It slowly dwindles its strength. Oh, did see that. What, what we've got here looks like a tree that could have, something could have been on it while it was growing and made it deform. It looks like it almost broke its back. And it is also very nice if you're pretending to ride a horse. Shout out to Drew Lawrence. Shout out to Drew Lawrence. Yeah, riding horses. Gaya Biha! We're good. Hey, didn't see you there. Here we have the Acibet River, right here. It's a very small Acibet River, and it's branching with a big Acibet River straight up ahead there, as you can see. And over here, we got what looks like some kind of vines. We got some weird vines right here, growing down into the Acibet River. Don't know what they are. They look kind of cool though, because there's a whole wall of them. Pretty cool. Not a crawfish. Oh, hey, shouldn't see you there. Right here we have some weird sort of crawfish. I'm gonna grab it before he runs away. I don't know if this thing's gonna bite me or not, but I got it. Jesus. Why don't you bring it up here? Yeah. This looks like some very small crawfish. It's grabbed as a little pond. Doesn't look like it can hurt me though. Hope it doesn't. Take move here. That's not a crawfish. Yeah, it's like some weird bug. I don't know what the heck it is. Looks like it's got. Move this end. Huh, it looks like a centipede almost. It's got a lot of legs. It can curl up into a ball. And there's a few more I saw down there. Danny's gonna hold on to this one and see if I can go get another one. See if it's the same thing. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, there's another one right next to it. And I see shells of them, too. Man, there's a whole bunch. Okay, stay right there. I'm going to go grab another one. Oh, man, this water's so cold. There he is. Okay, it doesn't look like I can get that one. Okay, I got another one. You still have that one? No, I no? hear it. Oh, here's another one. It's a little bit smaller. Same exact thing. It looks like a beetle of looks some like sort. looks like alien. They're not very fast. I can catch them pretty easily. Uh, shout out to Mr. Jeff Boy. See if he can find out what these yeah, stumper box. mysterious bugs are. I don't know if we can find out what they are because we got no clues. Water centipede. Oh, okay. Okay. Back into the wild. G-Roy out. Right here we've got a uh, 
centipede water thingy? Water centipede things. Where'd he go? They're they're all in, in here. There's like there's a whole bunch. Swimming around, it looks like. I can see four right now, just looking. Some of them are even fighting. Got one on a rock. But it looks like the bigger ones are bluer and the smaller ones are gray. Maybe it has to do something with male and female. Who knows? Uh CJ Danny Productions out. Oh and, and Ross. The bug scene in this video, we think, is some sort of water centipede or water bug. The big ones are lighter blue to green. The smaller ones are brown to gray. We think this has something to do with f female and male. Maybe the males are bigger and blue and the females are small and green, or vice versa. Okay, here we got a spider. We a very big spider. We actually we accidentally killed him. We found him uh, in that bark up there. He was, he was under, there was a piece of bark here, and he was under that bark. He was alive just a second ago, but I think he, uh, we accidentally killed him. He, he bit CJ, and CJ dropped him, and yeah. his finger is I tried to get him now. with my hand, and then he bit me. Shout out to Mr. Jeffroy for this big specimen right here. I ripped off two of its I legs by accident. I can't really get a good focus, but he's probably about the size of your pinky finger. Like the top of it. He's a pretty big spider. It bit CJ, and his finger is swelling now. So, zoom. Okay. All right. Big spider. Uh, it was wolf spider, by the way. Wolf spider. The last video you just saw contained a dead wolf spider. Frowny face. Frowny face. <laughs> wolf spiders, like good hunters, have good eyesight. They pounce on their prey and kill it using small dosages of venom that could only kill a small insect. Then they devour their prey whole. Oh, didn't see it. Uh, right here we've got another weird shaped tree. Something, oh, because it fell over. It looks like something could have been sitting on it when it was forming. It would just go right around it. Yep. It's a pretty nice tree. A lot of weird trees around here. Yeah. And it kind of looks like all the roots are Probably up here. Probably a hurricane. Something like that. Yep. Here we are again. On a pretty big hill. You see the acid bed is way down there. Danny's probably about, I don't know, 30, 40 feet up. It's pretty high up here. Danny, turn around. The sun is glowing on you. What? Go, go, yeah, stay right there now, stand up. <laughs> Look like something from a movie. Okay, there he is. And I'm guessing this is probably formed because the it's kind of like a canyon. The river's down there. And then Danny's way up there. And it looks like Vassabek could have probably been up there where Danny was now, like a long time ago. A million years, but now it's not. And there he is. Doing the Dougie. Sorry, Cat Daddy. Okay, here's Danny again, coming back down. Oh. <laughs> hey, he's butt scooting. I think I just ruined my shoes. I need some like surfer music. Oh, dude, no way. Rad. Okay, now jump down towards me. No. Okay, ready? Jump. No. <laughs> I'll roll into the river. Okay, go. It's a, it's a long roll, bud. That's way down there. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, Mr. Jeffroy. To, uh, to, to Mr. Jeffroy. Yeah, to Taylor Long, right here. Taylor Long, right yeah. Oh, didn't see you there. Right here we've got another horse-shaped tree. Um, another horse tree. Don't fall See, here it's kind of hard because I'm on like a hill. Right now I'm level and that's going down towards the river. 
What do you think that is, like a 45 degree angle, something like that? Possible. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, shout out to, uh... Drew Lawrence, horse tree. Drew Lawrence can ride, ride that horse, ride it. Giddy up, yeah! Woo! Uh, shout out to, uh, Drew Lawrence, G-Roy, G -Roy. Uh, who else? Colleen Daigle. Colleen Bagels. Got love for Colleen Daigle. <laughs> I bet you right now, if we show this to the class, her face will be so red. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Shout out to, uh... No, no more shout outs, good. Oh, didn't, didn't see, see you there. there. We're here um, on this very large rock here. Let me see about my shoes. Oh, wrong way. Shoes, you know, rock, pass a bit. We're almost close. towards the end of our journey. Of our trail, yes, our trail is coming down. There haven't been many creatures sighted because of uh, it's almost winter. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold out. And uh, we actually, we have a special surprise for you back at CJ's house. Yeah. Before we left, we spotted a python. I, I, yeah, it's pretty, it's a ball python. Uh, a we, bright yellow, and we're going to see if it's there when we get back. Yeah, if it is, we'll have some footage for you. If not, we'll film something else for the, yeah. for the finishing. Maybe we'll just do random faces like we, this. Alright, shout out to, uh, to, uh, Jake, uh, Jake Gore. Jake Gore. Jake yeah. Gore's, Jake Gore's Wait, no, we, man. Wait, no, we need to make someone get red again. What do you think? Uh, probably Jack McClarney. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got really rosy cheeks. Yeah, uh, see Oh, oh, hey, didn't see you there. Here we have some poop right here. I'm not gonna touch it, but uh, I need a stick. Yeah, I'll grab this one. It looks like berry poop because there's tons of berries in it. I'm pretty sure there's bears in North, bro. It's kind of short stick, but see, we got some some berries. Oh man, this is gross. Dude, this is my favorite food. Just we got, saying. We got the normal poop right here. Looks like a little bit of a diarrhea. And it almost looks like there's fur in here. It's a little furry over here, so probably an animal that eats both. Uh. There, it's like a herbivore and a carnivore, looks like. Maybe an owl. Do owls eat bears? No. Uh, well, peace out. This is Jeff Roy. Shout out to a uh, bunch of people. We got Jack. Jack with his rosy cheeks. Yeah, Colin Megan Daigle, Kane. Taylor Long, Daigle's. Megan Kane. Whoever, whoever we got in. Oh. Mikey Upton. Allison Delaney. Yeah. You get, Looking at you. Get in, Allie. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, G Roy, of, uh, of course. Taylor Wrightson. Tara writes and shout out to you. Rowan, Rowan, Rohan. Rohan. Rohan Smith. Rohan Smith. Or Rowan, whatever you like. And, um. That's about it? No, there's a couple we're more gonna, people. We're gonna go a little bit farther down the river here and then we're gonna start heading back. Or get that python Maybe for you. Get that python. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Here we got some sort of a beaver dam. Or it could be just a pile of sticks, but it doesn't look like it. Some foam up here. And right here is very deep. I catch some nice trout right here. Can't really tell, but it looks like a nice three, four feet deep. And then up here, we got looks like another dam or assembly of a dam. Right, right here, the river's going left over there. It's going right over here. Pretty cool. Now Danny's gonna give us a little special, a little how-to video. This is how to push over a rock into the river. Oh, didn't see you there. Push right. it that way, right so here. we're going to the river. We've got this rock, looks like it shouldn't be here. Pretty heavy. Push it that way into the river. Step one, uh, you're gonna have to place two hands on the rock. Very good. Step two, you're gonna start putting all your weight to the rock. Step three, push the rock into the river. Oh, it's a little bit fail. We're gonna help it along here, folks. Okay, Danny, you gonna roll it which way? Roll it that way. Roll or that way. way. Okay. Danny has begun rolling the rock. Okay, it's off. Oh man, that was Yeah! Woo, baby, let's go! Yeah, Insane yeah. in the making! Insane in the cave! got a completely natural lawn chair here. It makes it very comfortable for uh, sitting down when you're out in the wilderness. 
Probably some beavers made it. We got a great view. Got a great view of... Look at how good these beavers made these chairs. It's like they have great back support. Yeah, great back yeah, support. And look, they even made one for you. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Even though these are made out of plastic. No, they're made out of wood by the beavers. They have wood by oh, the beavers. We even got a little fire pit. Yeah, a little fire pit here. And look at this view. We got a couple birch trees. We got the Aspen River parting in a couple places. And so I say to it's you, I'm making up this song for a farewell. See just fingers swelling from a spider bite. He got into a fight, and now oh. it's time to say good. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, did see that? All right. So, you see this lichen? It grows on the tree. It slowly de de decays it. <clears throat> and then on the other tree, we got yeah. a few more spots here. One right there. Right there. there. That's all of the tree. All of the tree. Yep. And it it's not really at the top because it needs to grow. Yeah. And then works its way up. Yeah. And right here. It's just very prickly vine. And there's hairs growing out of it. Very prickly. And it goes all the way up the tree. And also, there's lichen on this tree, but it's very small. Right here. It's kind of hard see to see. See the lichen right there? Right there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you can see that. So, as you see, these are cat lilies. Cat tails. Cat tails. They're very, and they very grow fuzzy. Literally on the bottom of the floor and sprout up above the river. And my shoes are getting really wet right now. It's kind of uncomfortable, but. These nice zigs, look at them. These grow across the whole river and they stretch almost to the pond. actual bridge. The pond right there. Almost. So. Well, he gets I just get a better sense at how, about how long this is snow. Wait, wait, I gotta show them what it looks like up close. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, here we go. Yeah, one second. Wait, see, so you got some, like, fuzzy stuff here. And those fuzzy things are the little tiny seeds. When you break it open... Get, these are, like, little tiny seeds. And they just yeah. float away. Uh-oh. Hey, okay, that one. Make a wish. Good job. Oh! Okay, now we're gonna go up here and show you how much there is. Those are all cattails. And so good, so good. Okay, and then the bridge. Oh, nice view of the bridge. Iconic. Okay, shout outs. Who didn't we get yet? A shout out to Rowan Smith. Yeah, Rohan. Rohan. And, it, and Colleen Bagels. Oh, Bagels is in Florida right now. Woo! In this video, you saw cattails. Cattails are a wetland plant with a unique flowering spike. Flat bladed like leaves that reach heights of 3 to 10 feet. They are the most common marsh area plant. Hee <laughs> hee. You can see that right here we have a, a beaver that has chewed this whole log off and it's fallen down somewhere. somewhere. As you can, as you can see, the little beaver teeth little marks. beaver everywhere, just cut everywhere. And we have all the excess stuff right here all over the ground. A whole bunch of little wood chips, it looks like. And as you can see, the tree is nowhere near here. So he must have dragged it away to his lair. <clears throat> okay, now over here is another one. It's a little smaller, but same thing. Shoot it off, there's pieces on the ground, and there's no log anywhere. Dragged it away somewhere, safe. So none of those other beaters could take it. Oh, well we have a little dome under here. Oh, that looks cool, look at that. Hey. All right, here, let me check the camera and you crawl in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Let me get a, I bet you something lives in here. 
Look at that. Uh, look at all this. It's like a... Look at there's a tree. Looks yeah. like it's woven. Look at the tree, girl. Oh, and we're going to go farther into the swamp here. Ooh, some nice berries over here. Here, wait, I'm going to... I'll come over there in a second. I got to go over here. We got some nice berries. Whoa, very sick. Some nice berries right here. See, it's very color red. Probably not good to eat. Okay, now we're coming back over here to rock because you keep yelling at me. What like this. Oh, dude, it's so muddy over here. Coming. All right. Oh. That's muddy. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm See, this is a random tree growing. And so that must mean that the, the soil at the bottom of the Asimut River is very fertile. Well, it's kind of dead. Oh yeah, it's dead, but it had time to grow. And there's lots of trees, actually, right there. Yeah, but the, that one's dead, too. Okay, I'm going to get out of here now. Okay. Oh, here we have the Asimut River from a different point of view. We're kind of high above it right now, as you can see. We just wanted to show you how big this really is before it goes over the waterfall. And hey, we're on top of the aqueduct. Yeah, we're on top of the aqueduct, as you can see. It's pretty cool up here. I just saw those, huh? Yeah. Hey, you saw those, huh? Yeah, there's that. That was boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a shout out! Stephanie! Yeah! Stephanie! Ooh. Stephanie! This is her second shout out, but whatever. But now we have Ross. Yo, alright. Ask me River, bro. Work, okay, son, do, work. do work. Oh, didn't see you there. Didn't see you there. So, dude, this is class. Class. This is the Aspen River from this little hut right here. Yeah. We, we made base. Right here. If you ever drive by this part of the Aspen, it's that little house right here yeah. that we're sitting on. We're on top of it. And we get a nice view of the Aspen flowing into the pond, which is right here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Shout out. Who this is this a shout out for? Kirsten. Shout out to Kirsten! Who falls down the stairs every day. Stairs. Yeah, stair faller. This is for you. <laughs> oh, can't see you there. <laughs> Come over here, please. Here we have, we are now under the aqueduct. It's very echoey. Echo. Echo. Wait, one sec. Right. And there's these weird almost ice school things here. I'm just going to pinch this one off. Oh, it's a very really small one. But it's some type of... Let's go over here. It smells salty. It's like some salt. It's like they're growing from the edge. If you can get a close up. See, and they're like icicles here. And I got one in my hand. I'll show this. It's very watery, wet. And it smells like salt. And it's very fragile. See, I can just break it like that with these, and it feels like breadcrumbs. It, it feels growing. like pieces of sand almost. See? And now I got it all over my hands. Oh. It's probably toxic. Yeah. All right, shout outs. Shout out. Uh, who's this shout out for? Shout out for Jake Gore. Jake Gore. Shout out to Jake. In that last video, you saw evidence of a beaver. Beaver? Beavers are rodents that bite down trees and use them for dams and lodges. They are most common in North America. They are the second largest rodents in the world. They make dams to protect themselves from predators. Tee hee. Hee hee. Hee hee. Wow. Beavers. Beavers. Do you really like beavers? Mr. Jeff Roy, do you like beavers? Mr. Jeff Roy, do you like beavers? I like beavers. I like be